As the main manager in your When to Work account, you are the ultimate authority on the account. For security reasons, you should never share your username or password. Instead, you'll want to create logins for additional managers who can access the account. From the Settings menu, choose Add Edit Managers. Here, you can see a list of your additional managers. You're shown at the top as the main manager, so don't add yourself. You already have a manager login. When you add someone to this list, you create a manager login for them. Note that if they already have an employee login, this will be an additional separate login with a different username. To add a new manager to the account, go to the yellow box and enter their name and email address. Next, you'll select Permissions. You can give managers full permissions in the account, which means they can do everything you can do except add, edit, and delete additional managers. That power is reserved only for the main manager. You may not want to give your managers all of the permissions. You may have different kinds of managers. For instance, you may have some managers that help you create schedules. So you might give them all of the scheduling permissions, but none of the other permissions. Or you may have someone that you want to give limited scheduling permission. So perhaps they can edit the schedule, but they can't do anything major to it. You may want to add a manager who does payroll, so you would make sure to allow them to view pay rates, but maybe not allow them to edit or add to the schedules. Note that if a manager is not allowed to view pay rates, they will not see any pay rates in the system. Employees don't see pay rates either. Only managers with this box checked, or the main manager, can see them. You can keep an eye on things by being notified whenever another manager takes an action. If you like, you can allow your additional managers to be notified about each other's activities as well. When you've set the permissions as you like, notice that there's a checkbox at the top to email the new manager their sign-in instructions. Uncheck the box if you'd rather not email them, but usually you'll want to send them their instructions so that they can access their new manager login. Click the Add New button and the new manager is added to the list. You can edit your managers anytime. Simply click on the pencil beside their name and you'll open up their permissions screen. You can see their manager username, send them sign-in instructions, or update their email address. If, for example, you find that you have too many managers approving time off requests and it's causing confusion, you can go in and simply remove that permission and click Save to make the update. When a manager should no longer have manager access, you'll want to disable that login promptly. Click on the pencil icon next to their name and scroll down. You can delete a manager simply by clicking here on the red Delete Manager button. Now that manager's login is completely gone and they cannot access your account as manager. You can add as many additional managers to your account as you like. There's never any charge for manager logins, as pricing is always based on the number of employees on the employee list in your account. The person who creates the account is automatically set as the main manager. The main manager has the ability to swap in another manager as main. Simply enter your username and password to confirm your identity, select the additional manager you'd like to make main manager, and click the Swap button. You'll be instantly signed out of your session. When you sign back in, you'll be an additional manager and not the main manager. The new main manager can sign in and adjust your manager permissions if needed. Or, if you're leaving, they can delete your login.